officials say the numbers just keep spiking. News 6's Molly Reed has been following the story and saw some of the devastation firsthand, all new at 4.30. Daytona Beach police officer Nick Guarachari is on the water every day. He leads the department's marine unit, usually enforcing boating laws. Just pay attention to the signage. But has taken on another fight, saving manatees. This is their home. It's, it's not our home. This is our recreation area. He's been helping Florida Fish and Wildlife with manatee removal so biologists can find out why they're dying. Based on some of the necropsies that they had performed that these manatees were essentially starving to death, which was quite sad. He says the first call came in March to help scientists with one that was about 1,500 pounds. Once she did the measurements, she she basically came back and said, hey, this, this mammal's, you know, approximately 500 pounds underweight. He's since helped remove close to a dozen just in the Halifax River, on top of other manatee-related calls. FWC data shows 782 manatees have died this year in Florida. 306 of those have been in Brevard County, 56 in Volusia, 10 in Flagler, the majority in the 156-mile Indian River Lagoon. Local biologists say it's in the water quality. On fertilizers and pesticides that get in stormwater runoff I'll ultimately end up in the river to some degree, and those substances kill the seagrass beds that the manatees feed off of. Local organizations are adding living shorelines and micro reefs to the water that supply nutrients to boost grass growth. Brevard and Volusia banned using fertilizer during the summer. During the other months, it's asked that you only use it when lawns show need and never before it rains. The ultimate end goal is to make the environment safer, not only for us, but for, for any of the animals that live inside of it. So it's a, it's a total conservation effort. Scientists estimate about 58% of the seagrass in the Indian River Lagoon has decreased since 2009. In Daytona Beach, Volusia County, I'm Molly Reed getting results, News 6.